thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. So, I just want to thank God this morning that the obedient, they will reap the harvest. The obedient will reap the harvest. Reap the harvest. Not those who go to church, eh? the obedient. Because you go to church and not be obedient. All right? So, the obedient will reap the harvest. So, I want to say this morning that we have our we have our duty to fulfill on this earth. And if we do not fulfill our duty and expect God to do his part, then it will be it will not line up everybody. It will not line up. If we do our part, God will do his part. And the word of God says, God is not a man that he should lie. He's not a man that he should lie. So that is why I'm saying that in spite of what, do your part. Do your part. Make sure you do your part. Because when you do your part, God is going to meet you wherever you is. He's going to come wherever you is. And he's going to ensure that he bless you for doing your part. So you may say, Lord, I will depend on him. If him I do she part, then my part will not be blessed. No, I'm not supposed to depend on him. I'm supposed to put my hope and my trust in God. And say, Lord, I am doing what you want me to do. Lord, in spite of me, man see, man watch, man do watch, Lord, you are seeing. Lord, you see. Lord, my walk in this life, this journey, Lord, on this life, every day as I walk, Lord, every day as I wake up, Lord, what I do, Lord, how I think, Lord, what I'm supposed to do, Lord, am I doing what you say that I'm supposed to do in the Word of God? The Word of God said we are called to be worshippers. The Word of God said we are called to seek His face. We are called to pray without ceasing. Now, I'm not the one to judge you and say, I don't know if you just pray without ceasing. Provided God to give me a word and say, tell that person pray. That person do not pray, I will tell you. So what I'm saying, if you know within your spirit, you are doing what God called you to do. God, in all his mightiness, in all his awesomeness, God will do what he has to do. Because God will recognize you and he will know that you are obedient in heart, everybody. You are obedient in heart. This thing is not a man thing, but this is a God thing, people. The word of God says to the measure we judge, we will be judged. So I'm saying this morning, this is a journey in this life. This is a journey. The day he was born in the hospital, Wherever you was born, from that day, God used your mother to bring you into this world. From that day, God had his mark upon you. God had his eyes upon you. And the word of God said, to, said he told Jeremiah, I knew you before you was formed in your mother's womb. So what I say, God knew us a long time ago. So from that day until today, while we are alive, Probably we didn't start it up worshiping God, we didn't have started up praising God, but on the way, journey, 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 as you go along that journey, what happened? God picked you up somewhere along that journey and He set you apart. He set you apart, everybody. And He anointed you and He brings wisdom and He brings understanding to you. So this tell me, what does tell me? They tell me that I have to answer for me. I have to be accountable for me. I cannot blame this one or that one or nobody. I am accountable for me. That is why the Bible said, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. 
That is why, everybody, we are supposed to know who we are in Christ and who Christ is in we. So all the questions you may have, it's all, be, it's all between you and Him. Are you doing what God called you to do? It is very simple. You do not do what God called you to do. You do not receive your wages. You do not receive your reward. Because the only thing will count on this earth is what you do for God. So that if you do what God called you to do, your wages will not come from man. When we all know the wages of sin is death, I'm not talking about that. But I'm talking about being a laborer for God. When you labor for God, do you know there is a reward? Do you know there is wages? There is, there is a pay for when you, when you be a laborer for God? And your pay might not always be with material possession. But you, God will bless you more than what material possession can value. God will bless you in a way that you can take all the material possession of this world and it still cannot compare with the blessing that God will bring upon your life. So we are called people, we are called to stand up and do what God called you to do. And if you want to know what God called you to do, get a Bible and go and read it. Very simple. Don't wait for I to tell you, go get a Bible and read it. And when you read what God called you to do, He called us to be worshippers. He said, if we does not worship Him, He will cause the rocks to worship Him. Yeah. He tells us, he said, we need to pray without ceasing. So if we cease to pray, what will happen? The enemy will not cease to pray on us. So you need to use a lot of wisdom in these last days that we are living in. We need to use a lot, a lot. You know, I was speaking to a person last night. And the person was telling me about wisdom, 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 wisdom. You must be quicker than wisdom, quicker, very quicker than wisdom. Don't be quicker than people and people and people. Be quicker on wisdom, godly wisdom. Allow God to speak to you and you listen to God. Listen to God because in the end of the day, Jesus said, I am the way. I am not the way, eh? get me right. Jesus said, I am nothing in fact without Jesus. I like to repeat that as a mantra as long as I live. So, I am not the way. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one cometh by the Father but by Him. You know, if you decide to go by the Father, then you're looking for a shortcut. The Father will turn you right back and say, you have to go through Jesus. My one and only Son which all authority, all powers is given unto him. I give him the key to heaven and I give him the key to hell. That is why Jesus Christ, he went down in hell, he walked around in hell and he came out of hell back. So we need to know in the end of the day, Melanie cannot save me, no. Andrew cannot save me. Sarah cannot save me. Nobody can save me. Only Jesus can save me. But not denying the fact God could use each other to sharp me each other. Iron sharp my hand. God could use everybody here to pray for each other. That's what we can do. But talking about saving me is only Jesus. Amen, everybody? Can you understand? Praise the Lord. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Father, we reach out to you this morning, Lord. Come on, come on. Father, we reach out to you today.
gospel of truth. Lord, take over his life, Lord. Because your word said you are the spirit of truth. Lord, I pray, God, that the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, take it over his life, Lord. Father, I pray that light, Lord. Lord, will shine down upon, Lord, his mind this morning. Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, I declare the power of God and no weapon, Lord, that is formed against him. Lord, it shall not prosper. Father, I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name. So everybody, everybody, we want to thank God for this beautiful morning. We want to thank God for the presence of God. We want to thank God for we being in the presence of God. When we be in the presence of God, that is a level of obedience, everybody. Because there are people say, well, I don't go to church, but I don't pray home. I don't know which part of the Bible. Which, can you show me the page I've said that? And that is, a, that is always an excuse. Now, I'm not saying you're not supposed to pray home. And I'm not saying you're supposed to go to church here. You can go in any church. But what I'm do saying, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. what I'm saying, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come fast, keep on, come on, come on, fast. Father, I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, God, that you take over. Lord, hear my life right now. Lord, that you bring more wisdom and more understanding. Lord, that you give her dreams. Lord, that you give her vision. Lord, she will have a better sense. Lord, of understanding, Lord. Lord, you said you are the way, you are the truth, you are the life. Father, you show her the truth. Lord, you show her your light. Father, I declare it in Jesus. Wow, it's powerful. to touch on our topic before I go to the word of God this morning. A lot of people come up with their own how should I say it? Their own ideas, their own thought, their own if anybody could show me in the Bible where somebody say well I, I don't want to shit but I just pray home. And that is an old religious line that they put in the Bible. The Bible said do not idle and do not take away. Now I'm saying you have to pray home. Nobody say no. But you cannot use the term, well, you, it's better you say this prayer home. But do not say, but I do go to church by this prayer home. Because the Bible says you have to be in church. And what I'm saying again, you don't want to be here. You can be in church, a church of your choice, a church that the Holy Spirit lead you to go in. Because as everybody knows, I don't look for members. What I'm saying really, people, is that you cannot say, I am not going to church, but I just pray home. Simply say, I pray home. When someone say, well, long time I ain't seen a church, but I just pray home. That's the most foolish, stupidest question, answer I could ever hear in my life. So, anytime you talk to people, and they give you that kind of answer, stop talking to them. They have no sense, they have no wisdom. Because the Bible said, you must assemble yourself in the assembly of God. That's what the Bible said. The Bible also say, we are going to pray without ceasing. So which means, you know, if you go home and you don't pray, you only pray when you're in church, but when you go home, you cease. You don't want to bear it, cease, and don't turn again. So while you're in church, the bearing is rolling. But when you go home, it's like the bear get rusty, it sees. There are many people I know. They come to church and read the Bible, but when they... Many people I know of, when they leave church and leave the Bible somewhere in the corner. Come on, let's think. They come to church and read the Bible, but when they leave church, they leave the Bible through 